Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about the 2022 Emmy winners and some of the nominees that I think were snubbed. I'm going to start by talking about the limited series category. I'll be honest, I really didn't watch any of these shows, just didn't get around to it. So I'm going to kind of quickly talk about this category and you know, we've got Michael Keaton who won Best Lead Actor. We've got Amanda Seyfried who one best lead actress in a limited series or anthology series or movie whatever the category is and then we have the white lotus that pretty much won everything else in the categories announced at the emmy awards i know there were a lot of creative arts emmys that i will not be discussing in this video but everything else at the award show and limited series the White Lotus won. It won for both supporting actor and supporting actress. It won for writing, directing, and then the whole limited series category. So next up I'm going to talk about the comedy series. And first I'll just mention that Gene Smart won once again. There was kind of a sort of repeat in that in the comedy category as last year we had Gene Smart winning for best lead actress and then Jason Sudeikis winning for lead actor and then Ted Lasso again winning for best comedy series so that was a little bit of a bummer I'm not a huge fan of shows or actors or whatever winning more than once I don't know I just feel like there's so many good shows out there it doesn't really make sense for them to win again but I guess if they are the best then I guess they should win right but it's just a little weird to me like I don't know I haven't seen Hacks but was she funnier or gave a better performance than the others in this category or people that weren't even nominated? I don't know. I think Kaylee Cuoco does a really great job in The Flight Attendant, although I would say that show is almost more of a drama than it is a comedy, so I don't know if I'd even put her in the comedy category. That's a little weird to me. But I also think Quinta Brunson was great in Abbott Elementary. but. That's okay. Thankfully, Abbott Elementary did get a few wins, which was one of my favorite shows of the past year. I think it was very nice and lighthearted, just different than what is on TV now. And I think that's what a lot of shows that were nominated and that won are kind of these more cynical, dark shows that I'm just not really interested in. Um, I haven't seen Hacks, but even like I feel like Ted Lasso is more like almost dark and dramatic more than it is a comedy like dark might not be the word i'm like literally talking about lighting when i'm saying dark apple tv plus is so weird they all all their shows kind of look the same um with this sort of weird color grading that makes it a little bit darker i would actually say i haven't seen every apple tv plus show but from a lot of the ones I've seen, like The Morning Show and Ted Lasso, they kind of have a similar look. I, I would almost say Severance is kind of similar, but I think they just do it better. <laughs> but anyways, back to Cheryl Lee Ralph, who gave, I think, which was the best acceptance speech of the night slash musical performance. That was pretty great. Um, I'm just gonna say that I do think Janelle James, who plays Principal Ava in Abbott Elementary, I think she's absolutely hilarious and going into the Emmys, that was kind of my pick for who, like almost out of every category, I'm like, she should win. I'm, I'm not like disappointed that Cheryl Lee Ralph won, but I do think Janelle James is probably the funniest person in Abbott Elementary and I think Maybe she should have went over Cheryl Lee Ralph, but it's okay. There's always next year and hoping she gets nominated and wins next year. So speaking of Abbott Elementary, we've got Quinta Brunson, who if you haven't heard of her, I'm surprised because she's everywhere now, as she should be. She is the writer, executive producer, showrunner, and star of Abbott Elementary. And she won the award for best writing for a comedy series. I'm glad that at least the comedy categories were kind of 
balanced out. It's not like one show won every single category. It was kind of spread out between a few different shows. So I'm glad about that, but I wasn't a huge fan of the repeats from last year, like with Ted Lasso. But Only Murders in the Building is a show that kind of got snubbed in a couple categories. I think the show should have one for directing, specifically for the episode, I think it's called The Boy in 6B, which is their mostly like silent episode. I think that was really well done. And then I also think, I don't know who I would have given it to. I feel like season two, Oliver, um, who is Martin Short, who plays Oliver, um, I think he was the funniest part of that season, but I feel like for season one I would have given it to Steve Martin and then season two I would have given it to Martin Short. I have seen the first season of Ted Lasso and honestly I'm not a huge fan. I stopped watching it so that explains that. And also, you know, Ted Lasso, the other win was for supporting actor and I just don't really think that I mean, I think it's funny to an extent, but I mean, he just kind of does the same thing. He's always just screaming and yelling. <laughs> and I don't know, it's funny for a certain amount of time until it isn't. Um, so I actually think Tyler James Williams, who's in Abbott Elementary, I think he should have won. Um, and again, same with Ted Lasso. I think we could have given best comedy series to Abbott Elementary and lead actor to Steve Martin. So let's now move on to the drama category and we have another repeat with Julia Garner who's won multiple times I think and been nominated for multiple shows. I think she was in I think she, didn't she get two nominations this year? I, I don't know. Anywho, she won again, that's great for her. I do just wanna take a little side note because I have to, because This Is Us is in my opinion, the best show ever made. I, for a while, Stranger Things was like at the top, but season four for me just did not do it for me. So it kind of knocked it down to my number two show. And this is a season six I just thought was almost flawless. And I can't believe it wasn't nominated. I think it should have won best drama series, one for writing and one for lead actress Mandy Moore. Although I will say I love Zendaya. I haven't seen Euphoria, but I'm sure she's great. I've seen clips. I don't know if I'll ever watch that show because it's a little bit intense for me. But I feel like This Is Us is just a show that is unlike many other shows. It's so much different than your like typical drama about a family. It's so much more than that. And I think especially with the last season and the last couple episodes, it was just all so profound. And it's just the best honestly the best thing I've ever seen about life, whether that be a show or a movie. I just think it captured what life is so well and especially when it came to the final season. So I'm just a little disappointed about that, but let's talk about some of the nominees that were kind of snubbed, I would say, which one of those being Severance. I I think the supporting actor category was a little tough and supporting actress, so I, I wasn't necessarily surprised by those actors missing out there, but I think Adam Scott was really great and I was so glad that he got nominated. I didn't really think he would win just because you had people from Succession and Better Call Saul, but it ended up being the actor from Squid Game that won. Another category that I was really hoping would win with Severance is directing. I think Ben Stiller did a great job as well as the other director of like the other half of the show. But that finale episode is absolutely incredible. And I think I'm watching it, I'm like, this is how you direct. <laughs> and I feel like I haven't really, like I've always struggled to know like how do you know if something is well directed? Is it just if it's good? But I feel like watch the Severance finale and that's how you know if something's well directed because it's just so, just you just know, you know? 
Um, but I think Squid Game was a good choice for Best Direction. I haven't seen the show, but from what I've seen of the trailer and clips and stuff, I mean, visually, the show looks great, even though it's very disturbing with the kind of colorfulness of it and then the obviously dark themes of the show, but I think from what I've seen, it looks like it's very well directed and obviously the production design and cinematography looks amazing. So I'm not really dis- I am a little disappointed because I loved that Severance finale. I think was like one of the best episodes of television of this past year, but that's okay. I think Severance- I think it was also up for writing, which went over to another little show called Succession. And Succession also won quite a few other awards, including, well, just two actually, um, <laughs> supporting actor and drama series and then writing. So that wasn't really a surprise at all. I actually thought Succession would win a couple more awards. I was surprised that it didn't win more, but that is pretty much all of the categories. I didn't talk about the Creative Arts Emmys, but there were a lot of those too. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts were on the Emmys, what you think got snubbed, or what shows or nominees you were glad won. You can like, subscribe, comment, and share if you want, and you can also check out my other little award show that I made because I didn't agree with a lot of the nominations. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and God bless.